Okay. Welcome to Outer Corner and today is a very 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 special episode because uh, we got the keys to a 500 horsepower Mercedes-Benz and when you got the power or the uh, keys to a 500 horsepower Benz then it sounds like this Oh, <laughs> oh my god Uh, this is yeah. <laughs> this car has some power. Uh, this was launched back in 2005. Uh, it's a 5.5 liter supercharged V8 engine in this car, producing standard 470 horsepower. And you know what the best part about this is? This car was new about the hundred thousand euros, but right now you can pick them up for basically between 15 and 20 thousand euros and it's a lot of car it's a lot of car for that money it was launched back in 05 like i said you get this uh the only thing about this car is that this car was only produced for one or two years and the drawback is the gearbox it's a normal five speed gearbox which is very sluggish and very slow but it's actually okay and it does actually fit the car reasonably well uh, but the reason why you buy one of these things is quite simple. It's for the sound this thing makes. We're second gear now and we're performing it. It sounds like... It's, 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 it sounds really good. And this thing has a standard exhaust. You put a, a different exhaust on it, I mean... Oh my god! Okay. That's, that, that's 190 right there, okay, okay, fuck, what? fuck, this thing is fast. And uh, it has, it's a very comfortable car as well. You have air suspension, you have uh, massage seats, and you can get all types of cool options back in the day. Now, the drawback of buying this 100,000 euro, 20 plus, uh, 10 plus year old car is uh, reliability. Now, the engine is like bulletproof and the gearbox is bulletproof, but you have the air suspension. So if you want to buy one, check that the air suspension works. Uh, because if it doesn't, it's gonna cost you uh, another Mercedes CLS 55 AMG to fix. So definitely check that that thing works. Now we have some problem with the water pump and I think the fuel pump, but that's you can upgrade. Um, I mean, it's a unbelievable car for the money. And if you are in, uh, if you're comparing this to like an M5, this thing is even better because uh, it has that comfortable. It's so comfortable, so nice. The M5 just does not have that. Uh, the, the thing, this thing, the M5 is a bit better in the corners, yes, but this thing is, is actually very decent in the corner uh, and it's much more comfortable and the gearbox is much more smooth. Uh, it's actually a little bit cheaper to run than the M5. The M5 has a V10 engine, this thing has uh, uh, a V8. This is so fucking... Oh my god. Oh my god! Shit! This thing is incredible! It's like... It's like you're being... Fu you are fucking the road. You're permanently fucking the road. Oh my god. This thing is unbelievable. This thing is the best car ever made. I think. Probably not, but one of the best cars ever. But it's actually a bargain car and uh, if you're looking to buy one, if you have the economy, you have to put some money away if something breaks, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's quite an unbelievable piece of machinery. And listen to this, first gear. Oh. Thing also, the ESP, you can't turn it fully off, but it's a secret mode that you can push, press and then uh, the ESP will, will turn off which is uh, very handy and the cornering capability of this thing is actually decent I mean it's surprisingly good for a 
the amount of age this car is and it's incredibly comfortable because you get uh, the air suspension I love these things I absolutely love these things but thank you for watching this uh, quick review I will be enjoying myself and hopefully uh, if I am stupid enough this will be my next car Auto car nerd.